Right, we've got a dry job. It's a road traffic collision with major injuries. It's going to be a paramedic, and we're lucky to take them both to Derriford. You get the adrenaline, and that's one of the things that you look forward to being on 771. There is that little bit of excitement when the alarm goes off. Is the aircraft ready to go? Are people in the right place? And exactly what the job entails. Are we saving someone? Is there a ship going down? Do we need to get more aircraft ready? Right, the paramedic, we need to pick up on scene and then straight to Derriford. Don't forget the airway. The time I've been here, the red and grey, the ace of clubs that's so prominent on the underneath. So if you're in trouble and you see that, it's quite a reassuring sight. It does really show how good, well, not that we are good, although we are, but the appreciation that we have. They know that if they need you, you'll come. Yes, that pretty much sums it up. When the phone rings, they need us, we're on our way. I really enjoy it. It can be a bit daunting at times, you know, when, uh, when it's a bit of a rough sea state and, and the observer slides open the door and, yeah, you're going down on that deck. Uh, yeah, it can be a bit scary looking. You think, well, I don't really get paid enough for this. Speedy's only been operational a matter of weeks, but if you're on 7-1, you are the search and rescue service for whoever might need you in whatever circumstances. I'd only just qualified. Um, the call came in and it was a Spanish fisherman. Um, it was about 70 miles south of the Scillies. The boat was basically surfing on the waves um, and we, were, we decided to put me down onto the forecastle. Yeah, it was pretty scary. The boat was bouncing up and down and uh, just trying to sort of time it right. So kind of hang there for a good couple of minutes waiting for the waves to sort of settle down and that's when you take your, your moment to sort of go in and get onto the, onto the actual boat. Um, luckily there was a couple of crew to catch me. Uh, I did end up on my bum, but you know, it's just part and parcel of what you can expect. The Spanish fisherman here, yeah, he'd basically um, s smashed his head and uh, cut all his face up and has also broken his arm. I was like a cat in the headlights, went into the cockpit and uh, had, a, had a look around and there was this guy in the corner looking at me to make him better. There's support on hand from seriously experienced air crew. This observer's in his 33rd year in the senior service. Although I'm not an instructor, I suppose I have been doing this job for a while. And for the new guys, it's just that shock. It's that rush of adrenaline of you've got a rush, but you've got to balance that against doing it calmly, doing it assuredly, and making sure you don't forget. Any event of any emergency, mate? Okay, if we're going down, I'll try and cut so you're clear. Remember, you may have a bit of wire. If you're right near the door, I'll try and pull you in before we impact. You're probably safer coming on board than being outboard. Happy? Everyone here is, is very experienced and very good at what they do. It's quite daunting for me to, to sort of be part of that, knowing that I'm the junior Joe on the squad. By the end of the year, I'll be, I'll be up there and I can be gobbing off. <laughs> Your old dits. Yeah, my old dits. I'm one dit speedy at the moment. <laughs> probably sick and tired of hearing it. Even though the Sea King will only be in service three more years and when she retires, the UK's search and rescue operation will be privately run, 771 is still a training squadron, wearing the last of a dying breed. You've only got to look inside the cockpit and look at how old it is um, and, and to know of sort of legends who have flown it and to hear some, some great stories of when it was operated sort of 20, 30 years ago, that's the thing that excites me the most, you know, how infamous it is. The airframe's held in such veneration that administering the tender loving care she needs is a privilege, not just a duty. It's done quite well, isn't it? You don't really see many 50-year-old cars driving about, so uh, yeah, it's not doing too bad, I suppose. If I'm off watching them out with the wife and we see one of the aircraft flying over, I always think, oh, I wonder who's in trouble or I wonder where the guys are going today. Living in Cornwall, no matter where you are, if you see the red and grey in the sky, you always you always think to yourself, oh, I wonder what's going on. So it's always, um, always close to your thoughts. They're proud to carry on this duty on call 24-7 until 2016. Julie Knox, Forces News, Royal Naval Air Station, Culdrums.